Hi everyone, I'm back here today to share with you another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video for you all. I was tagged by the lovely Trisha from Trisha60 to do the Shine Strong tag, which is all about a campaign by Pantene, um, sort of labelled Shine Strong, and it's all about empowering women and things like that. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I actually haven't had a chance to look at the questions yet, so I'm just going to read them or sort of answer them as I read them. If you haven't seen any of the sort of promotional videos um, or any part of the Shine Strong campaign by Pantene, I would strongly recommend it, especially if you're a woman, I would definitely recommend it. Most of their sort of promotional material really is good, it's great, it's sort of um, mind, you know, it's thought provoking, it, you know, um, it intrigues you or intrigues your mind, I was going to say mind provoking but thought-provoking. Also I've just come back from work so I am a little tired so please do forgive any um, moments of madness. So I'm just going to get straight into it and just answer the question. So the first question is finish this sentence strong is. So I think strong is all about confidence or being strong is all about confidence and the way you sort of portray yourself. Um, I think if you're confident, if you have sort of confidence in what you're saying, what you're doing, I think that just shows that you are a strong individual. So the next question is, what is the bravest thing you've ever done? I'm trying to think of the bravest thing. Oh, I think the bravest thing I've ever done, which probably doesn't sound so brave, is um, I was basically, I think I was like 16 years old, and this is probably the most scariest and bravest thing I've ever done. And I was on a school trip, and we were sort of rock climbing, you could say, literally against... Um, the bank of a river. We were like up in the Lake District and basically we were told to like jump into the lake um, or dive in. I didn't jump in for the first few minutes. Everyone was like, oh my god, you can do this, Just, you know, dive in. And that is probably the bravest thing I've ever done. I literally jumped in. Um, swam for a little bit and then got onto a boat and I do have to say after that I did nearly faint because I was really you know my body was in shock but that is probably the bravest thing I've done and the fact that I haven't seen these questions um that's the first thing that came to my mind uh so yeah so the next question is what do you do to unwind um just logging back in to unwind I do a lot of things mainly I just do sort of um watch videos on my laptop on YouTube and just chill out. I love eating and I love sort of going out and stuff and trying new things and I guess that's my way of unwinding like after a long day at work I just want to finish work and like do something in the evening or sometimes just go home and catch up on YouTube videos. What is one thing you've always wanted to learn? Well one thing I've always wanted to learn is a language. Now I know a few languages but I really wanted to learn French fluently. Now I can speak French but I can't speak it fluently. So how does your BFF shine strong? So best friend forever I'm assuming or yeah best friend forever. Um, so my BFF, that sounds so weird, my um, best friend she actually lives like closer to my family home so I live in London and my family home is not in London and she actually had to move out a few times from her family home and move between jobs and like when she moved out to uni and I think she really sort of um shined strong with the way she sort of went about it she she didn't know how to cook she didn't know how to you know do things like that and the fact that she went out and learned and now is practically a pro at cooking every dish like under the sun um is brilliant um okay what natural talent would you want to be gifted with now natural talent i don't know what's a natural talent i would say i would like to be gifted with the talent of being able to speak French, I it's something I really like. Being able to speak it fluently is something I really want to do. Um, I don't know if that's a natural talent. What is your idea of happiness? This is actually a really good question. I think happiness is just being content, um, not necessarily being over the moon about 
every single thing you do but being like happy or being content with what you're doing where your life is and accepting that things may not be perfect but it's you know if you're happy with that then you're happy like if you're content with that then you're happy um contentment and happiness I think are very similar some would say are exactly the same word but I think if you're content it leads to happiness the next question what is your motto or words that you live by um, or words that mean a lot to you. Now, I would say the one thing I always say is everything happens for a reason, no matter what it is. Everything will happen for a reason and everything will work out. Um, and I know there's times in your life where you go through sort of sad times or like negative times, but seriously, everything will work out. If something doesn't happen right now or in this moment or this exact moment in time, it will happen in the future when the time is right. Take everything as an experience, as a lesson. Um, and I, I truly believe in everything happens for a reason, but a motto to live by, I would just say go with the flow. Just do things um, that you want to do. Just enjoy yourself, live life to the fullest. Um, all these sort of cliche type sayings. Okay, what is your ultimate shine strong hairstyle? Now, my hair like this, I think is my ultimate shine strong hairstyle. Um, actually, today it's very greasy, so probably not this exact like hair texture. Um, but yeah, when my hair is straightened, I think it just makes me feel more confident, just much more, um, just happier and more confident and more sort of positive I guess when my hair is a little bit greasy or if I'm not happy with how my hair is then obviously I think that does affect you know your confidence but I would say yeah my hair is pretty long and it's I've straightened it although it's gone a bit wavy now um yeah I think this is my shine strong hairstyle this hairstyle that you are looking at right now okay Finish this sentence, I love good hair days because, um, well, I love good hair days because it makes me feel confident, happy, um, girly, pretty, womanly, um, whatever, whatever, it just, a good hairdo or a hairstyle just makes you feel good. Share your best tip for strong, healthy hair. Now, recently I've been straightening my hair a lot. I would say a good tip for protecting your hair and, um, Taking care of your hair, you know, making sure your hair is healthy, is applying a hair mask every so often, either using like a hair mask from like Pantene or any other brand, or using just coconut oil. Coconut oil does wonders. Now I have noticed over the past few days or weeks, my hair has been looking and feeling a little bit dull, and that's because I haven't been able to put coconut oil on there. And I haven't been able to apply a hair mask on my hair. So I would say definitely, definitely, definitely apply a hair mask to your hair. It will just make your hair feel nourished and healthy and just look good as well. So the next question is, finish this sentence. I shine strong when I. Um, I would say I shine strong when I'm happy, when I'm, you know, um, enjoying myself. It makes me, you know, feel better. It gives me confidence. I think happiness gives you confidence. I think if you're content, if you're happy, I know I've said this before, it will definitely give you confidence. So I would just say go with the flow. Do what makes you happy. And if you're happy, you'll, you know, shine strong. So I think that does bring the tag to an end. I don't know how many questions there were, maybe 10. But I really, really did enjoy doing this. Um, thank you to Tresha for tagging me in this. Um, yeah, literally, I found out this morning and I just came home and filmed it. Now, I am planning on doing more videos, um, but I do get home very late sometimes, so I haven't been able to film a lot of videos, but I am hoping this will go up very soon. I'm going to just cut it here now because I can talk forever. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.